It's time for Panhandle Scanner News. I'm your host, Brian Hale. It's official. Parts of the Panhandle experienced so much rain yesterday that their weather stations were telling them that it was raining cats and dogs. Meanwhile, Ford Motor Company is again pushing their recall for their dangerous metal objects flying from airbags while driving, affected vehicles from 2004 to 2014, and further bridge delays as Scotts Bluff police reported vandalism overnight and are looking for your help finding the cement culprit. Wheat Belt Public Power District is reporting a power outage this morning in the Lake McConaughey and Llewellyn area. They're working hard to get that restored today. Check the outage map at wheatbelt.com. And no bull, Nebraska State Patrol, the landowner, and his son worked in record time to get a loose bull back into the field in under 15 minutes. And according to scanner traffic, an automated call from an iPhone indicated a car wreck on Beverly Drive and Pomona, no response to a return phone call, and when officers checked the scene, they reported that no MVA was found and the call was canceled. 27th and Avenue I was busy yesterday afternoon as officers were seen searching a white Colorado sedan where bags and weapons were visibly confiscated. At least one person was placed into custody. You'll see that event there on our Facebook page, along with a very nice tribute and remembrance of Captain Ryan Lore. Be sure to visit our page and leave your tributes there. Also, don't forget our public record every Monday through Friday when available with daily jail rosters, inmate search tools, daily specials from our sponsor Main Street Market, recent arrests and arraignments, and court appearances. All available at panhandlescanner.com. With Scanner News, thanks again for listening and may God bless. I'm Brian Hale.